Hi, my name is Erica O'Donnell. Hi, I'm Monica Garris. I'm Ben Rosenberger. And we're Team 65, also known as Thunderball. In this presentation, we're going to be talking about our search for intellectual property that we might be infringing upon in our BRG, as well as the project decomposition, um, as well and the uh, concept generation that we uh, went through and the final concept that we ended up with and the testing of that concept. We're also going to be going over the failure modes and analysis of the BRG and the economic analysis of our entire project. So now I'm going to talk about in our intellectual uh, property search. Um, so no serious limitations were found. We only uh, seriously gained information from this. So as you can see in this picture, this is the modular bus for the base. And um, we're going to use this because it allows interchangeability for our different obstacles. Um, we also are going to incorporate storage drawers into our design. And then um, we found that an adjustable track for the spring with hill would be a great idea. In developing our product concept, we performed a product composition decomposition in order to break our pro product into subfunctions. Uh, you go okay. Yeah. So in order, but because we hadn't yet uh, chosen a concept for our product, we decided to keep the inputs and outputs for our product general. General. For example, we don't know what form of energy it will accept or output and we do, don't know yet which obstacles would require energy, as you can see here. We did know that it would accept and output a ping pong ball and put it through a series of obstacles and give it a set entrance and exit velocity, as you can see here. Um, we also know that it would have required manual input for each of the obstacles. Okay, uh, we generated a lot of different ideas for our BRG, all of them under the uh, general topics of conservation of energy, momentum, and electricity. Uh, those included uh, using a spring to launch a ping pong ball up a hill, uh, projectile motion of a ping pong ball, uh, using a fan to blow on the ball to add momentum to the system, using a elastic collision, and uh, an Arduino uh, controlling a stop in the system. Uh, we ended up using a spring with the hill, a fan adding momentum, and uh, having the person uh, connect resistors in series to allow the ping pong ball to pass. We went through this by just uh, thinking about the feasibility of each of the different uh, concepts for the obstacles and kind of weighing the ease of construction and the uh, number of choices and interactability with the customer. So um, we sent out a survey to six different people. Um, one is a high school principal, um, four are uh, teachers in high school, and one is um, a student currently taking AP Physics. Um, from those results, uh, five, five out of those six people said that they would definitely buy our product, while one said that they might. Um, so looking at the calculations, we're given the values of C depth and C probability. And uh, as you can see, the check marks represent um, if the buyer will definitely buy it or probably buy it. So that's where we get our F definitely and F probability value. Um, so after calculating it, uh, we got a P value of 0 0.29. And then we wanted to see how many schools there were in America. So we added the private high schools and public high schools and found that there is currently 37,100 high schools in America. Um, and then we assume that out of these out of these high schools, 20% of those schools have heard of our product. And after that, we calculated the value and we came out with a quantity of 4,328 units. After we uh, came up with our product concept, we performed a failure modes and effects analysis on our first obstacle, which was the spring with hill. Uh, we discovered a few problems with our prototype, which we intend to fix in our final design. The biggest of which was the plunger on the spring, which was made out of two pieces that could had a very high probability of breaking apart. This, in fact, happened multiple times while we were building our prototype. We intend to fix this by making the plunger one piece so that the risk of it breaking is reduced. We also intend on 
making the track for the ball covered rather than open so that it can't fly away and reinforcing the support structure of the ramp so that it is more stable. For an economic analysis, we intend to propose a initial loan from VTEPS of $50,000 to cover our production, initial production and development costs. After that, we will require $10,000 a quarter with an additional $10,000 per year to cover overhead. Um, assuming a price of $120 for our product and a cost of $50 per unit um, well, and selling 200 units a quarter, we expect to make $24,000 a quarter, which will give us an uh, internal rate of return of 19%, which is very high, and so we expect our, pro our project to be very lucrative. Okay, so in this uh, presentation, we talked about the design process and how we generated concepts for our BRG and how we uh, whittled those down to the final design. And then we talked about uh, how we uh, uh, refined that uh, process, re refined the BRG, as well as the uh, economic analysis of the overall project. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Have a nice night.